ticket sales, but we couldn't have been happier with the reaction uh, from the fans, record-breaking reaction. And we really want to give David Lemieux, Camille and Stefan, Bernard Hopkins, and the whole team at Golden Boy a lot of credit. When we first announced the fight, and we were doing interviews, I was doing interviews from my side, Oscar was doing interviews from the Golden Boy side, and one reporter asked me, in one word, how do you explain this fight? Or describe the fight? And I said, finally. Finally, someone, another champion, is willing to get in the ring with Gennady Golovkin. And we have to give David Lemieux and his entire team a lot of credit for that. And you see how the fans react. There's no rematch clauses. There's no, it's two of the hardest punching middleweights, two champions fighting against each other and made the best man win. And that's what, that's the drama that the fans like to see. And that's the winner of this fight, October 17th, will be the best middleweight champion in the world. And that's what the fans appreciate. With that, the only way this, this fight was possible with the uh, support of HBO and the pay-per-view division, but also the support of Madison Square Garden. It was our goal when Gennady first came here to America to fight, to be here in Madison Square Garden. It's the biggest stage in the world. It's the media capital of the world here in New York City. And you see the quick rise. It was three years ago, September 1st, 2012, when he made his HBO debut. And I believe uh, it's the fastest rise of any fighter fighting in New York in uh, North America, eight times on HBO, and now making their debut on, uh, on the pay-per-view. So with that being said, we have to give a lot of credit to Joel Fisher and his entire staff here at Madison Square Garden, Sal Federico, Adam Thier, Larry Torres, everyone at the Garden. They're very supportive. You see all the belts lined up here. Each belt signifies, it's very meaningful in the sport of boxing, it means you are the best. David Lemieux just won the IBF title, Gennady has the WBA Super Championship, the IBO Championship, and also the WBC Interim Championship. Um, to say a few words on behalf of the WBC, also we have a great co-feature that we've announced, is uh, Chapatito Gonzalez. WBC flyweight champion. He's going to be fighting against Brian Meloria, who's also a former champion. That, that's a tremendous uh, co-feature fight. So it just added value for uh, for the fans that night. So to say a few words on behalf of the WBC, and, and we have a great uh, great string of uh, middleweight championship fights coming up. October 10th is supposed to be Andy Lee. October 17th. David Lemieux against Sigani Lovkin, and then November 21st is just announced uh, Cotto versus Canelo. So it couldn't have been, it couldn't be a better time now for the middleweight division. All the champions fighting, and the winners mandated to fight each other. The winner of this fight between Triple G and David Lemieux is mandated to fight the winner of Cotto against Canelo, and the fans. Couldn't be better. I mean, we couldn't have a better opportunity right now for the middleweight division. So I'd like to introduce Jill Diamond on behalf of the WBC. Hi, everybody. Uh, the World Boxing Council believes that every fighter that steps in the ring is a hero, but very few of them get a chance to fight for a world championship, even fewer for the green belt, let alone all these belts. So, one thing I know for sure that no matter who wins on the 17th, the fans will win because these gentlemen will rock the ring. So the reason I'm here, though Tom took away my speech, is to read an announcement from Mauricio Sullivan, the president of the WBC. The winner will have the right to fight the winner of the great fight between Cotto and Canelo for the undisputed WBC championship. The WBC wishes to congratulate K2, HBO, Madison Square Garden, I of the Tiger, or, and Golden Boy, I'm sorry, for, for setting the stage for so many great fights to come. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. As many of you know, 
Gennady's rise to being one of the most recognized peak figures in the sport of boxing worldwide, not just in America, worldwide, uh, is because of his fights being shown on HBO and all the marketing support that they've given us. He has an exclusive multi-fight contract with HBO. He's had eight appearances now, and so we're really looking forward to his first HBO pay-per-view fight. The support from Ken Hirschman, from Mark Taffet, Tammy Ross, and Peter Nelson, without their support, he wouldn't be where he's at today, and this fight wouldn't be happening. First time I know him, this is, uh, this is really surreal. I spoke to a couple of reporters earlier about this middleweight unification. Because rarely in boxing, unfortunately, we don't have these type of events where you can say that one guy in the division is going to represent that division. And it takes a long time for it to happen. It's here. We have it again in Madison Square Garden. So to be able to be here, as I use the word surreal, not only as a partner of Golden Boy, but also as someone that left his DNA, literally, and history here in this building. And as Trooper G, all down the guys he fights as he steps in, and I'm a big fan of this. And also, the middle eye guy has been doing his part in the middleweight division. I can say proudly that the middleweight division has been left in great hands, and I'm proud of that. One thing I want everybody to understand about fighting the best, as we at Golden Boy, myself, Oscar De La Hoya, and everyone that's outside of us, the network takes me up. And you know what, the fans had also spoke loud, and some, if not most of the reporters, to recognize that we said that, now we want to show you. And this is one of the process of showing. And that's what I'm proud of, is that we boldly went out and said that's what we want to do. But and normally things happen in other situations where it's just all talk. So here we are. And I'm proud to deliver. And we do proud, proud to deliver at HBO and also at Golden Boy this particular fight. So as I thank K2 Promotion for not only being willing to put their guy and with our guy and vice versa, Golden Boy, and also I have the title promotion. We all wanted to get this done and we here. And so, when the middleweight division that I left in the great hands of these two fighters, to me, they had the baton to take it to where their legacy starts in October in that ring. And to be there to witness that, knowing that this division, the middleweight division, is the division that built my legacy. Yeah, I stopped over at light heavyweight. But the middleweight division is the division I made who I am today. And so, as I like to thank everyone that understand the history of middleweight division from the Ray Robinson, from the Ray Lennons, from the Marvin Marvin Hagman, to the Philly middleweights, and of course myself, uh, this is something that really, really, to me, special. And so, thanks to two of the guys that are willing to fight each other for that reason. Also. I like to say to people that when you have the knockout ratio of both of these fighters, you don't have time to go get your popcorn when they announce this fight. No, seriously. You don't have time to sit there and say, look, you know, I'm going to come in. No, this fight here, I don't see going to distance. Obviously, I want my guy to be the one to raise his hands down. But this is that type of fight where when you're dealing with firepower, you can, see Triple G said in his interview, I was air hustling. He said, oh, I might go 12 rounds. Hey, listen, he might be right, but wrong with who's gonna not go, but he might be right. Who knows? This is that type of fight that you know is gonna be fireworks. 
So I want to say to everybody that Golden Boy and HBO can speak for themselves, but HBO also, because it takes a team effort to do it, made it happen. And also, I like to bring up a guy that I gotta respect because he respect me from day one in Canada. And I watched the way he handles and take care and respect his fighters. That's important to me. Because I'm really key on those who deserve respect should give respect. And I want to bring him up right now to introduce his champion, our champion, Camille Stefan. Hello everyone. A lot has been said about this fight. What a great honor to be standing here beside David, uh, Mark, Bernard, you two and Abby and his team. Uh, I echo all the thank yous to uh, Madison Square Garden, to HBO, to Joe Fisher. We've done a lot for boxing, 135 years of history. We want to write a new story, we want to write a new page. And, uh, to be completely honest, I have the, the utmost respect for uh, uh, Tom Offer as well. Uh, thank you, Tom, for being uh, a good person as you are towards boxing in your, in your actions. Uh, in the wild maintenance fight. This is the fight that people want to see. This is the fight that we all want to be bringing because there's no smokes to be here. Uh, this is the real deal. The winner of this fight, the guy's going to come up with his hands raised. To me, is the star in boxing today. We're talking about the middleweight division, but uh, I truly believe the winner of this fight deserves to be recognized as the star in boxing. Because have you seen these two fighters with such firepower getting the ring together before? How many times have you seen this? I was uh, listening to Mr. Harold uh, Letterman before give me a history in boxing, talking about 76, which, which you feel was the last fight that would have been uh, parallel in, in terms of quality of this fight. What a great honor to be in the NFL of boxing, Madison Square Garden, on HBO, I mean, this is a dream for uh, for a fan, and we're, hard, we're here with our hearts for the fan. And I can tell you, um, standing in the room upstairs waiting and uh, listening to the questions of the media. I saw the picture of Wayne Gretzky. We're coming from Canada. We'd like to add to uh, th a big thank you for our fans in, in Canada and Quebec for having supported us all these years and uh, keep supporting us in what David Tory is today. So they're watching on Ring TV, they're watching on HBO, they're watching uh, and they'll be supporting us. Many, many will be coming, they'll be noisy. So grab your seats before they take them off. Um, many buses coming, that's fantastic, very exciting. Um, what I want to say as well is, is bottom line is this, is this is really what entertainment is all about. What HBO is doing, making these fights happen, uh, is, is fantastic for the sport. We all love the sport. We, we are fans of the sport at heart. We are passionate, like Bernard said. Uh, we're passionate about our fighters and I can guarantee and just like you saw Gretzky here in Madison Square Garden is greatness, you're going to see now David Lanier in Madison Square Garden in New York City with his greatness. That's what we're here to do. We have a lot of respect for Gennady as a person, as a fighter, but honestly, uh, we're, we're all about our abilities and what he can do. And you're going to find out October 17th. On October 18th, all the hair salons will be very, very busy with Lanier here. So, thank you very much. Looking forward to the I would like to invite the engineer of the plan uh, for that realization to happen on the 17th. Mr. Mark Ramsey is doing an amazing job with all of the water Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank uh, HBO, uh, K2 Promotion, Eyes of Tigers, Golden Boy, the Madison Square, and everybody who put the piece of the puzzle together to make that thing happen. 
when I look at that file, I'm very happy because you, you usually in boxing you need to put pressure a little bit on the other camp to, to try to sell some tickets. You need to talk trash, and I, I don't like that kind of stuff. And Mr. Mr. Golovkin is a gentleman. Mr. Evel Sanchez is a gentleman, and I'm just that put the name of David Lemieux and put the name of Golovkin on the same poster. It's, it's say everything like. We give him the, 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 the boxing fans exactly what they want. And when you look at the, the, the style of both boxer, you can be sure that's going to be very explosive. It's going to be an amazing fight. We are right now in an era where a lot of champions try to escape from real challenge. And I'm very, very proud to be part of the team and with that young gentleman who is not afraid. Who's want to fight the best all the time and this is truly what boxing need right now. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I have to say both fighters are not afraid. I mean getting in the rain, getting made by one of these guys is trying to interview the job with a bunch of like that. It's a piece of our courage. Um, talking about courage. Um, you know I've been working with David for a few years now. I had a, once we met, I had a feeling we've known each other for a lifetime. Uh, I have the utmost respect for this athlete. You see him in the ring, you see him perform. I see him on a day to day basis. I see him in the gym. This is not a guy that cheats. He never cheats himself, he never cheats anyone. He's going to bring his heart and soul, put it in the ring, and come out with all his belts. It was really, really good. We're very confident. I'm very proud of what he's doing. We're going to do our homework. Believe me, this guy is going to give you do something you haven't seen before. We'll be talking about him for many, many years to come. I want to introduce you to David Lemieux. Wow. What an honor it is to be here. Um, who would have thought a small uh, kid like me smoking cigarettes at uh, 9, 10 years old? If one day fill up the, the Madison Square Garden. I came a long way to be where I am. I worked hard. Uh, and I'm, I'm extremely proud to be here, to be in front of you all, for you all to listen, the world to be watching, to be doing historical uh, events already with resale and everything. And with this fight against Golovkin, for sure, uh, you can expect what you see uh, two hard punchers going at it. Uh, the fight speaks for itself. I don't have to add too much uh, sugar on the coating. It's going to be an explosive fight, but a lot of you are going to have to be ready for change. Changing the pattern. This is what's fascinating about boxing. One second you think things are going great for something, the next it didn't go the way you expected it. Change of patterns. You have to be ready for anything in boxing. I'm ready to take to take the belt and to be the unified middleweight champion. Uh, that's why I take the fight. Because I'm very aware of my abilities. I'm very I'm very aware of Golovkin's abilities. I respect him a lot. He's a great fighter, has done a lot of a great mark in the middleweight division. But I'm not here to be his friend. I'm here to be his opponent. And on the 17th, we're going to fight. There will be blood. Yes, it's going to be an exciting event. And I'm very confident in my abilities. I want to thank uh, everybody. I have, uh, I have a tremendous team around me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, you know, starting from the basics. My parents, you know, uh, my parents have always been there for me. I'm extremely grateful for them in my life, my brother, my sister, you know, my family, Camille, Mark Ramsey, all the team I have around me. They're extremely important in my life and my everyday uh, life, not just as boxing, but also as great people. You know, uh, I respect, I respect good human nature, and this is this is what I uh, this is what I've found uh, over the years. You know, in search, uh, I exposed a lot of positive energy, and, and when there was a lot of changes to be made, the negative energy, you know, just faded away over time and I brought I brought the best team around me to also get now the best results in, in life. I got the world title and now I'm ready to get many other titles. Even even the best of my performance. Uh, it's a 
great event. Extremely proud to be here, and hopefully, you will experience history in the making on October 17th. Love New York, love Montreal, thank you for the support, thank you world. Hope all of you will be watching, we'll be giving our heart out on October 17th. Thank you very much. That's the epitome of a championship team here that uh, Camille, Bernard, Bold Boy, Mark Ramsey, and David, and they put him in a position to challenge for the idea of title in this last fight. He won it in very impressive fashion. And now, having him in this unification fight, they really have to be committed. So give one more time a round of applause. I'd like to um, introduce, he's kind of been uh, the architect of taking Gennady after his stellar and successful amateur career. In the mountains of Baker, where he has his uh, world famous uh, summit high altitude training camp. He's the one that really instilled what's now become it's a famous term to describe Gennady's style, as the Mexican style. It's uh, based on the great uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Such an aggression, power, overwhelming opponents, 20 knockouts in a row. The architect behind that is uh, Abel Sanchez. Get it well. No cameras off. 